Greetings to all. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about Poisson distribution. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about one of the most important distributions in probability and statistics, that is geometric distribution, which also plays a key role in pattern and anomaly detection. So coming to geometric distribution, one of the key thing to understand about geometric distribution and its allied pattern in data analysis is they actually follow the Bernoulli trails. So there is a need to understand about Bernoulli's distribution before coming to geometric distribution. This Bernoulli's distribution is also similar to binomial distribution where we have only two outcomes like yes, no, success, failure, win, loss and so on. But these two distribution in Bernoulli are actually independent and they don't occur periodically or repeatedly, which actually is present in binomial distribution where also we have only two outcomes like yes or no, win or loss, but they occur repeatedly. In geometric distribution, we combine the use cases of Bernoulli's distribution to identify the success rate after the number of failure attempts. So this is how geometric distribution arrives out from Bernoulli's distribution. Another case in which geometric distribution comes out is a mathematical concept called as geometric progression or geometric sequence. Like if you have any progression, say A, A into R, A R squared, A R cube and so on, we have a common ratio here called R which is actually termed as say r power 0, r power 1, r power 2, r power 3 and so on. So all the terms has a common value say r which can be used to represent this particular sequence. Hence there is a equality between geometric progression to geometric distribution wherein at every particular event occurrence there is a common factor coming in that is the success or the failure rate. Hence, geometric distribution also follows a mathematical concept, say geometric progression. Let us now see like how the probability mass function of geometric distribution is going to be represented. We represent the distribution in terms of say probability of x equal to k will be equal to q power k minus 1 into p. So we know that P is the probability of success, Q the probability of failure, X the random variable representing the number of trials until the first success is met. So this is the, what the most important definition that distinguishes geometric distribution from any other distribution. Because we say the definition here that X is going to be an event which is going to obtain its success after number of failure attempts or number of other attempts. So that is how X is going to be represented. We say X also follows Bernoulli's trails, meaning that there is going to be only two outcomes, success or failure. And K represents the number of trials we actually made and that has been used in the formula in terms of failure attempts and, positive, and success attempts. If you see the power terms q power k minus 1 into p, meaning that there will be minimum of k minus 1 failures before you get the success. On total, if you see k minus 1 in failure and 1 in success, so k minus 1 plus 1. So in k trials, k minus 1 trials are failure and 1 is success. To be more concrete, if there are 10 trials, 9 will be failure and the final one tenth will be the success. And that is how the mass function of geometric distribution is stated. Let us understand this geometric progression through an example problem to make it more clear. Now understand that we have a uh, example problem where a basketball player is going to use his own talent to packet his ball. The probability of his success 
to make the ball move into the bucket is 0.7. That is, he can use a free throw success rate of 70 percentage, meaning uh, they make a basket with a probability of 0 0.7 on each free throw attempt. So it means that there is going to be an independence. Only one player is there. He is going to pocket his ball. And the probability of success is 0 0.7. Now the question is, what is the probability that the player will need exactly three free throw attempts to make the first successful basket? So the thing is, there is going to be three trials now. And in the third trial, he need to win. The success need to be obtained in the third trial. Meaning that the first trial is a failure, second trial is a failure, so third trial is going to be success. So I mean that this is going to be probability of x equal to 3. So we have small p, probability of success equal to 0 0.7, probability of failure q will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.7 which is equal to 0 0.3. Then we actually go to the distribution formula, probability of x equal to 3, meaning that in the third attempt, he is going to win. So probability of x equal to 3 goes with the formula q power k minus 1 into p. So my q value in this problem is going to be 0 0.3 power 3 minus 1 into 0 0.7. I take 0 0.3 squared into 0 0.7, which gives me the overall result as 0 0.063. So the probability that the player will need exactly three free throw attempts to make the first successful basket is 0 0.063. So this is how you actually make geometric distribution usable for pattern analysis. Now you identify the player's pattern in getting a success. So you can use this pattern to identify his own feature attempts. Now let us go even more deep to understand like what are the other ways in which we can actually predict uh, the future with geometric distribution. Let's go to the second example with the same scenario. What is the probability that the player will make the first successful free throw before the first four attempts? So it means that he need to make a first success before first four attempts. So that means that probability of x less than 4. So before 4 attempts, he need to win. It means that he can win in the first attempt, he can win in the second attempt, or he can win in the third attempt. So that is what it means that p of x less than 4. So within 4 attempts, or that is less than 4 attempts, he need to win. So he can win in any of these 3 attempts. So I take all these 3 individually and calculate the probability distribution by using the PM value. That is q power k minus 1 into p. So it will become q power 0, that is 1 minus 1, 0 into p, plus q power 1, that is q power 2 minus 1 into p, then q power 3 minus 1, that is q squared into p. So I calculate all these. So to make it simplified, I take the probability value. I mean the common ratio in terms of geometry progression. Here it is success rate p, which is common among all these terms. I take it as common and I put q power 0 plus q power 1 plus q power 2 inside. So I get the values by substituting the uh, probabilities of success and failure. So 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 power 0 plus 0 0.3 power 1 plus 0 0.3 power 2. Then I get the final answer as 0 0.973. That is 97 percentage he will actually make success within the first four attempts. So less than the first four attempts, there is 0 0.973 is the probability that the first successful free throw before the first four attempts. So this is how we actually calculate. Let us go to the final scenario that is, the question goes, the probability that the player take at least four attempts to make the first successful free throw. So there is a slight variation between the previous question and the current where in the previous question it says he need to win before the fourth attempt. Here he need to take at least four attempts to win. So the word at least says like he can win in the fourth attempt or fifth 
or sixth or seventh, and it goes till infinity. So the term here in geometric distribution says the event goes from four to infinity, meaning like probability of x greater than or equal to four. So, but we cannot calculate from four to infinity. So I take the contrary of this, that is one minus p of x less than four. So just now we are actually calculated p of x less than four, which is probability of x equal to one, x equal to two, plus probability of x equal to three. So summing up all those things, we actually obtained the probability as 0 0.973 in the previous thing. Here, in order to make it complement, I make it one minus 0 0.973. And I get the answer as 0 0.027. And this is the way in which you actually do the calculation when it goes with some keywords, say at least, meaning that you are going to calculate some event which is going to go from a particular number to infinity that is greater than or equal to. So the result is the probability that the player take at least four attempts to make the first successful free throw is 0 0.027. Hope you have understood geometric distribution. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Thank you.